The cloud mountain is very high and there is no road up the mountain. In front of the mountain, two rocks lay motionless, and at the foot of each rock oozed a thin, clear stream of water. Two streams of water flow winding through that area like two silver strips to merge into a stream in a field. The stream flowed further, through the villages, and its cry was like the sound of a tambourine. The peaceful music is both a song of joy and an expression of pain. Old timers still tell a strange story about these two rocks. Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful young woman and a handsome young man. The girl and number 39's name is. She has a lovely face, as cheerful as morning dew, and her voice is as gentle and caressing as the down of a young bird. When the sky is filled with dark clouds, her singing reminds the sun to return. When the night falls to the ground, her voice calls out to the moon and stars. Anyone who hears her sing forgets all their worries and worries. People call the boy. He was a young man with a heart as pure as crystal, and on his noble face, eyes shining like two gems. As soon as he brought the pipe to his lips, the birds stopped singing and everyone was mesmerized. Sal Mai and Sun Ca love each other and cannot live without each other. It cannot be otherwise. Wherever people hear the sound of Sun Ca and number 39's flute, the gentle singing voice of Morning Star immediately appears. During one summer, the whole region suffered from severe drought. The leaves turned yellow and then withered, the soil in the field was as hard as rock, and in the well there were only a few drops of water left. And quot, what will we do? People ask each other. In a drought like this, we cannot survive. And quot, at that moment, for the first time, the crystal sound of the flute and the gentle singing of the young woman fell silent. One day, Sal Mai and Nightingale went up the mountain to pick medicine as they usually did. Under their feet, small, barren plots of land are yellow and cracked, in need of water. That tragic countryside scene made Sal Mai and Sun Ca and Number 39's hearts tighten. Sal Mai, how about we try digging a well? Sun Ca said. Sal Mai nodded in agreement and the two got to work. They dug and dug they had dug a large hole when suddenly a golden frog wearing a green silk band jumped out from the hole. This is my country, Don and number 39. T come and dig here. It declares. If you listen to me, I will show you how to find water. Over there, at the foot of Cloud Mountain, there is a large rock with a thorn growing in its cracks. If you use the roots of the thorn tree to climb to the top, you will meet an old man wearing a rough sweater, beard and hair. He is waiting for you to help him braid his hair into two braids. When you and number 39, redone, he and number 39, LL ask you what reward you want. Tell him you want nothing more than water. If he doesn't and hash 39, T help you guys, I don and number 39, T know who can. The golden frog had just finished giving a short speech when it disappeared into the hole, as if the earth had swallowed it. Morning Star and Nightingale ran as fast as the wind to Cloud Mountain. But they were disappointed when they reached the foot of the mountain. The mountain is towering, majestic, silent, with no way up. In front of Sal Mai and Sun Ca and number 39, S.I.s, there are only steep and smooth cliffs, without a single point to place your foot on. They walked at the foot of the cliff, hoping to find a path. Suddenly they saw a large rock 
in its cracks there was a thorn tree climbing berry. High, as high as the eye could see, up to the top of Cloud Mountain. We will never get there Morning Star sighed when she saw the root shoots full of needle-like thorns. Dawn and number 39. T be afraid son C.A. said. I will put it on your belt. I will climb. Please hold on tight. Morning Star hugged Song C.A. and number 39. S. Waist. And the boy climbed along the thorny roots to the top of Cloud Mountain. Guy stabbed deeply into his hand, but Sun C.A. did not pay attention to the pain of his body. He climbed for a long time, but in the end, although exhausted, Sun C.A. and his companion reached the top of the mountain. They immediately saw a gray-haired old man coming to meet them. His cotton-white beard was longer than his waist, and his disheveled hair reached down to his feet touching the ground. It and number 39. S very nice of you to come the old man said. I and number 39. Am still waiting for someone to help me braid my hair into two braids. Sir, we are willing to help you son C.A. said. The two young people got to work immediately. It took a long time to braid their hair, their hands were numb. But in the end now the old man has two beautiful braids that shine like silver instead of the tangled hair down to his roots. What do you want? The old man asked with satisfaction. No matter what you want, I will fulfill your wishes. Sir, we only wish for one thing son C.A. said. Please give us water. Severe drought exhausted villages, rice dried, grass withered, and people died of thirst. Yes, you can have water, the old man said. I will help you, but I don and number 39, T no. I don and number 39, T no if you have enough courage. Please tell us what to do, we are not afraid of anything. Sun C.A. and Sao Mai answered in the same voice. The old man raised his hand to his left ear and took out a sparkling black pearl. Take this gem and return to the valley, the old man explained. In the place where you choose to let the water spray, one of you must swallow the pearl. As soon as he does that, the person who swallows the pearl will turn into a rock and at the foot of the rock will erupt a spring of water that will never dry up and will save your people. Now it and number 39. S. Goodbye. But if one day you still need me, you just need to lightly tap three times on the cliff of Cloud Mountain. Morningstar and Nightingale looked at each other sadly because they had to be apart. But thinking about the suffering of the people gave them more courage. Both of them quietly reached out to take the pearl, but Sun C.A. was faster. He got the pearl first and hid it in his shirt. Now go away, children said the old man. He gave each of them a braid. Sao Mai and Sun C.A. each held one end of the braid and both immediately soared through the air toward the foot of the cliff. The world whirled around them, the wind whistled in their ears, but before they could fear, they felt solid ground under their feet, close to the foot of Cloud Mountain. Before they could stop being surprised, the two braids became empty and disappeared in the air. Sun C.A. reached into his shirt and took out the black pearl. Eyes filled with tears, both looked at each other for a long time. Give it to me, Sao Mai said gently. No, the nightingale answered. The two immediately fought for the pearl, but at the last minute Sun C.A. still kept it. He immediately put it into his mouth and Sao Mai helplessly saw his close friend turn into a silent block of stone. And miraculously, at the foot of the rock, a thin, cool layer of water began to seep out. Sun. C.A. 
Sun C.A. What would happen without you? Morning Star hugged the rock tightly and cried. No matter how much she cried, the cold stone could not answer her. She sat up, holding her head in her hands, thinking only of one thing. How to become a rock. Suddenly she thought of an idea. She stood up, ran quickly to the cliff, and lightly hit it three times. She heard a sound around her, coming from above. Two braids had just fallen to her side. She grabbed them and used them to climb up, reaching the flat face of the cliff. Why did you come back? The old man asked in a gentle voice. Sir, please look at this pitiful dry land. One spring of water is not enough to irrigate it. I ask you to give me another pearl, so that I can also turn into a rock with a geyser of water that never dries up. The old man hesitated for a moment and then emotionally replied, I will accept your request and give you this pearl. Having finished speaking, he raised his hand to his right ear and took out a shining white pearl which he gave to the girl. Sao Mai thanked her, grabbed a braid, felt the wind whistling around her and found herself again at the foot of the cliff, close to the rock that used to be Sun C.A. I will never leave you, we will be together forever Sao Mai said and put the pearl in her mouth. She turned to stone immediately. Where there was just one, now there are two rocks next to each other, slightly leaning against each other, silently admiring the landscape spread out below their feet. Under each rock spewed out a thin, transparent spring of water, one ringing with the same voice as the morning star, the other ringing like the enchanting flute of the nightingale. And wherever the two streams of water flowed, the grass began to green again, rice grew again, and the land found life again. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.